Hey you guys, it's your girl Tanya once again and I am doing a collab video and I am so excited about doing this collab video. It is um, something I've always wanted to do since I have started my channel. Um, so I'm super excited about it. It is, I think it's like six or seven of us that are in this collab, but I will put all of their names and their, um, their channels here or here. I think it comes on this side, <laughs> but it'll come on this side. And so, um, yeah, check out their channels as well. Um, as you can see, I have a new cut, a new dip excuse me a new do I haven't colored it yet which I am going to probably do that today because my gray is so prevalent it is ridiculous like really ridiculous but let's get into this video um, if you like these kinds of videos collab videos and you want to see more collab videos with me thumbs it up you guys thumbs it up so anyway so my first product that I will have to say is one of my very favorite um, like I said it was so many of my high-end products that I just love you know but I picked out the five that I like the most if you could like a product the most I don't know but anyway my very first one is the Mac fix plus I could not go anywhere without this this has been one of the better products like I have repurchased this several 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 times um, it is something that I just is a must product that I must use every single day so I love that um, it is you know I wouldn't necessarily say that the fix plus is a setting spray but it is more of a hydrating well, I guess it could be a setting spray if you wanted to set your makeup with it. I necessarily wouldn't set my makeup with this. I would definitely, like, when I want that hydration or, you know, just after I put my powder on and I just need something that's going to just take that powdery look, this is the stuff. So, oh, those are the words. I'm like, what is all of that? Um, yeah, this is definitely it. Um, if you haven't used Fix Plus, what the hell are you doing with your life? Like, seriously. It's the bomb. Um, the next one is also a MAC product. It is the MAC um, Face and Body Foundation. I'm in the color C7. And I love this stuff for the summer. It is a light coverage, but it's super, super, super buildable. <laughs> it's super, super, super buildable. Um, I love this stuff. Especially for um, the summer months um, when I don't want... A lot of foundation on my face I mean it's hot let's just get let's just keep it real and I'm in the Midwest and it gets super hot here and and muggy and I don't always want foundation on my face especially in the summer so this is something that is light but like I said it is buildable so if you need full coverage and I wouldn't even say I don't even think it builds up to full coverage I would think that it probably builds up more so to a medium slight full if you want that but it's very watery as you can hear but it's amazing I love this stuff and summer is coming up summer is coming the next product that I have to say is this is my most favorite product I mean hands down hands down this is my favorite product of all of my products whether they be drugstore or um, high-end is the Kevin Aquan um, Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm in the color um, SX12 and as you can see it is a small tub but it is so well worth it. It is amazing. Amazing. Okay. It is so amazing for your um, under eye concealant like it's a full coverage you get it's a three-in-one product as well and I did a video and I will put that in the description box about covering your dark circles with the Kevin Aquan it is amazing amazing full coverage concealer the only thing that I have about the Kevin Aquan that I don't like is that is the smell um but once you put it on your face you don't smell it at all like it just blends into your skin it is an amazing full coverage um, concealer. Um, you can use it as a foundation. You can mix it with your moisturizer and have a tinted moisturizer. I mean, it's just amazing. Amazing. And now they're going to be starting to... Uh, they were selling Kevin Aquan at Sephora. 
Um, they took it away, and you can only get it from, like, Nordstrom's or Lord & Taylor. Any high-end store, like Nordstrom's, was selling it. Um, but now they're coming back to Sephora. So, that's amazing, because I love Kevin Aquan's products. And, man, I spent $50 for this, and I would do it again. Like, if I ran out... I would definitely repurchase. That's how bomb it is. I don't give a damn if it's $100. If it covers these dark circles, I'm all over it. So, Kevin Aquan. Love him. Love him. Um, the next two are both Kat Von D products, and I didn't even realize that. I had two MAC products and two Kat Von Ds. <laughs> that were um, one of my favorites. I am wearing... Um, this color today. This is the Kat Von D and I believe it is in the color Adore. The number is across the bottom so I can't see what it is. But I think it's Adore. And it's in the metallic um, the metallic collection that she had. Um, I love this red. It is um, it is very metallic. As you can see. Like I said I'm wearing it today. It is one of my very favorites. I don't get to wear it as much because I have so many lippies that I go through. But I saw this today and I was like, I want to wear this today. That's just how I was feeling. I was feeling, I was feeling electric. So I said I want some metallic lips, you know, to go with that. How I was feeling today. So you're probably like, this girl is so weird. But that's just how I was feeling. Um, it is one of the liquid lipstick so it does dry matte and you kind of got to work with it quick because it dries really fast um it is very drying to your lips um throughout the day sometimes like if it gets too dry i'll go ahead and put like a um like a little chapstick or something over it um and that kind of makes my lips feel a lot better the only thing that i have found that when i wear not even kat von d just any matte um, liquid lips that dry, really drying, and are hard to come off. My lips suffer for it, like, for days after. Has that ever happened to you guys? Um, if so, put that in the comment box below. Because I, I don't feel like I should be, I don't think I'm the only one that it feels like that, too. Um, but I still love them. I love matte lips. Um, and I would definitely repurchase this again, because I love it. I love it. And as you can see, this is one of the old packaging, but I've had it. And I, and like I said, I don't wear it enough, but sometimes when I just feel like I just want to wear this color, I bust it out. Um, the next um, thing is the Kat Von D uh, Locky Tattoo Powder Foundation. Um, and I am in the color Deep 74. And as you can see... That's the color I am. It looks really light uh, in the pan, but on my skin, it is amazing. Um, I actually, I used to wear the MAC Studio Fix powder um, all the time, and I was an NC45. I'm an NC, well, I am an NC45 in that. I'm actually out of that. Well, I'm not out of it, but I hit pan on it. So I didn't want to show that one as one of my favorites because I'm... I'm I have a repurchase one already, but I just, ugh. whatever, I can't get it, so I'm done trying. But um, I definitely like the powder. Um, I use this is probably my go-to foundation every day because it's so quick to apply. And you know, in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, I don't necessarily have a lot of time to sit around and buff in my liquid foundation. I don't have time for it. I, I just don't. So what I do in the morning is I'll go ahead and color correct. Um, I'll color correct and conceal. And then just go ahead and, excuse me, go ahead and put the powder on my face. If I'm wanting something that's full coverage, I'll use the sponge that comes with. Because I'll just pat it on there and that gives you a full coverage. If I'm wanting something a little lighter, I'll use a brush and dust it on with that. Um... Either way works really, really good with this. And it is just as good as the Studio Fix, if not better, because it does not oxidize. Um, well, let me say, let me just take that back. It does oxidize. It doesn't oxi oxidize as bad as the MAC. Um, for some reason, the MAC 
products oxidize on me and they look so dark and I hate that so this has this still oxidizes don't get me wrong but it oxidizes in a way that is just I guess it, it lasts throughout the day in its original color I have found um, especially through my work day I find that it gets a little darker maybe towards maybe about mm, four or five hours into it it might um, get a little darker but other than that I find that it just oxidizes perfectly so I really like that product and I also like the liquid one as well but I didn't show that one in this video because it was only five things like I said it was hard to decide but I really this is like my everyday foundation that I use so if you like like I said if you haven't subscribed already you guys go ahead and do so now it's free it's free baby it's free and um, if you like these types of video go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, try not to give it a thumbs down you guys and I'll see you in my next video thanks bye